we will likely experience the worst recession since the Great Depression, which is far worse than the global financial crisis. That's a one-sentence summary of the International Monetary Fund's latest economic outlook report. The IMF says that the world has changed dramatically in the three months since the International Monetary Fund's last update of the World Economic Outlook in January. A rare disaster, a pandemic, has resulted in a tragically large number of human lives being lost and as countries implement necessary quarantines and social distancing practices to contain the spread of this new illness, the world has been put in a great lockdown. That's what the IMF calls this health and financial crisis. What does this mean and how it affects every one of us? We'll cover these questions in this video, so make sure to watch it till end. Also, push the like button so YouTube shows this video to other people as well and make sure to subscribe to support the channel. Without any further ado, IMF's World Economic Outlook projects global growth in 2020 to fall by 3%, assuming that the pandemic and required containment peaks in the second quarter for most countries in the world, and recedes in the second half of this year. According to the IMF this is a downgrade of 6.3 percentage points from January 2020, a major revision over a very short period, which makes the so-called Great Lockdown the worst recession since the Great Depression. I already covered how this crisis will be different than the 2008 financial crisis, so I will not focus on that in this video, I'll put a link to that as well. So the Great Lockdown is something we've never experienced before. Lockdowns have been ordered globally, which is like the whole world is shut down at this point. Even companies that manage to put away some money and want to work cannot do it. During the Great Depression of the 1930s and also during the 2008 financial crisis people who had a job could go to work and earn their living. Today what we're seeing is like a bad movie, in which you are locked down and can't get out or otherwise you will get sick or worse. Moreover, millions of people are losing their jobs or are being furloughed and thousands of companies are going bankrupt. According to the Federal Reserve Bank the lockdown is costing the US economy around $25 billion a day, that is more than $1 billion an hour, so by the time you watch a Netflix movie, the US economy is almost $2 billion poorer. Now some might say it's about time to open the economy, but experts advise differently, because a quick opening of the economy might even cause more damage on the long run. Governments all around the world are expecting to open the economy as soon as possible. Let's assume this happens relatively soon. Experts warn that a recovery might still be far away. Since this crisis is very much different than what we've seen before, it might be difficult for many people to just immediately start living their lives as they used to. Many things have changed, on the one hand you have scared people, who are afraid of getting infected and on the other hand you have people afraid this thing might happen again and because of this belief they might not be so eager to spend their money. There is a pretty good chance that even after economy is opened up, many people will be scared to travel, to go to restaurants and crowded places. Others will be more financially aware, so instead of just spending a lot of money on things they don't necessarily need, will probably save more in case the crisis persists. If people don't spend money, companies don't make money and their last resort is to lay off people. When you don't have a job, you don't have money to spend which turns into a vicious circle. Another aspect of this crisis is related exactly to this point, jobs. We already know that millions of people are suffering due to layoffs. The extent of the recession might also depend on how many of these people will get their jobs back. Governments know this, so they started giving money to companies and people, basically pumping more money into the economy. Since they don't have this amount on their hands, they borrow it which makes public debt raise to historic levels. As I covered in a previous video, which I will link here, this comes at great costs. Another step is printing more money, which of course, makes inflation go higher, that is the value of our money goes down, or simply put, prices go up without us earning more. There is also the risk of opening the economy too soon. If this illness starts spreading faster and people get sick or worse and new lockdowns will have to be ordered again, that could mean an even deeper recession. By the way, the definition of recession is when there are two quarters or six months of economic slowdown. IMF estimates that the US GDP will fall by 6% this year and the euro area is going to fall by as much as 7.5%, expecting a 9% fall in Italy, 8% in Spain and 7.2% in France. Countries reliant on tourism, travel, hospitality, and entertainment for their growth are experiencing the greatest disruptions. The IMF notes that there are some hopeful signs that the health crisis will end. Countries are succeeding in containing the virus using social distancing practices, testing, and contact tracing, at least for now, and treatments and vaccines may develop soon. Until then, IMF states, 
The courageous actions of doctors and nurses need to be matched by policymakers all over the world in order to overcome this crisis. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.